The film starts during the World War in 1945, as some U.S. soldiers are sent for a mission against the Nazis to stop them from launching their super weapon from somewhere in the North Atlantic. The soldiers alight at the drop zone and join the battle where the Americans are being heavily defeated. However, Super Soldier Captain Steve Rogers, who has been enhanced with the Super Soldier Serum, joins the battle and cheers them up. Captain America finds the Nazi missile at their base, where he is attacked by a Nazi General Kleiser, who he finds out is actually a shape-shifting alien. They launch the missile and Captain America jumps onto it to stop it and Kleiser follows him. However, Cap manages to defeat him and he throws a grenade which destroys the ship in an explosion while he jumps off of it. The soldiers watch as Captain America drops from the sky, injured by the explosion, and unconsciously sinks into the bottom of the Atlantic, which later freezes. Seventy years later, S.H.I.E.L.D. agent General Nick Fury leads a search for the lost hero in the North Atlantic, and they retrieve him from the glacier that he was resting in. Nick Fury leaves it to Professor Ross to bring Captain America to recover, and they also inform Dr. Bruce Banner, who is leading a research on recreating the Super Soldier Serum in an effort to defeat the Nazis who are still backed by aliens named Chitauri. Captain America soon opens his eyes and begins to throw the soldiers around, but Nick Fury orders everyone to stand down and allow him to get outside. There, he is surprised by the great changes in tall, modern buildings, and once he calms down, they take him back in. A while later, the Chitauri aliens attack one of the S.H.I.E.L.D.'s satellites, and Nick Fury's superiors ask him to implement Project Avenger, which is to start recruiting a team of superhumans, according to the shortlist. Meanwhile, Dr. Bruce Banner hopes that he can use the serum to get his Hulk under control so he could reunite with his ex-wife, Dr. Betty Rose, but she is skeptical. Nick Fury asks the scientists to hurry up the research as he is also planning how he can get Stark Enterprises to help them with some more components. Later that evening, a lady named Natalia Romanoff, alias the Black Widow, infiltrates Tony Stark's evening dinner and lures him into a different room where they meet Nick Fury seated on his desk. Nick Fury is there to recruit Iron Man, who he claims is an associate of Tony, but he denies any involvement with the cheap toy. Tony later heads out to have dinner with the governor, but he sends Nick Fury home with some of his plasma cannons. While Dr. Banner takes a sample of Captain America's blood, he also gives him back a picture of his wife they found in his pocket and he learns she is alive. Nick Fury and Black Widow later visit Hank Pym, the Ant-Man, and her wife Janet, the Wasp, and he tries to recruit the Wasp, but she can't go without Hank. While they are watching Hank's intriguing skills of transforming into Giant Man, they receive reports that Iron Man is in action, saving a crashing plane, and the two leave after welcoming both Ant-Man and the Wasp to their team. Later, Iron Man tries to escape from the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, but he is stopped by a slap from Giant Man. Nick asks him to join their team, but Iron Man claims he works alone and flies away. Meanwhile, Steve Rogers visits his ex-wife and is sad to learn that she is all old and remarried, while some of his other friends and family are gone. Nick Fury later finds him mourning at the cemetery and encourages him that he still has his country and they need him now more than ever and they leave together. The two later head to the Norwegian God of Thunder, who is also a pirate, running a tavern in a ship, and they try to recruit him for the great cause, but Thor claims he does not fight in the wars of men. Nick Fury and Captain America then head to their base, as Nick tells him about that other target called the Hulk, who is a raging monster that came about after scientist Bruce Banner was exposed to gamma radiation. Nick Fury then assembles the team under one unit called Project Avenger, commanded by Captain America, and Iron Man also joins in. Nick then informs them that they will be fighting against the aliens called Chitari, who are providing the Nazis with the nuclear technology, and they are moving around in three ships which they use to destroy the S.H.I.E.L.D. facilities and satellites. He also reveals the indestructible metal alloy they use, called vibranium, which absorbs energy like a sponge and can only be penetrated by another vibranium, which is hard to find. Meanwhile, a Chitauri alien breaches the shield facility by shapeshifting into a soldier, whereupon he shielded himself in after killing all the security inside and activated a defense lockdown. Nick Fury then hands Captain America a brand new shield, made from a blend of adamantium and vibranium fragments, and sends the team on a mission to neutralize the alien 
and bring it back to him. The Chitauri alien then hacks into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s database and steals their information and plants infrared traps everywhere. During the mission, Captain America gives them orders on how to proceed, but the Wasp is headstrong and in a hurry and is injured by an infrared trap. Iron Man also disobeys his station orders and goes out to rescue her, claiming he rescues ladies for a living and also gets injured by a trap. Captain America and Black Widow get past their traps, but the alien manages to escape their grasp after blowing up the place. The team survives, and when they rescue Iron Man, they are surprised to find that he is actually Tony Stark. Nick Fury is furious at the team for disobeying their orders, and he fires Ant-Man, who leaves with the Wasp. Iron Man also quits and flies away, while Captain America returns his shield in disappointment. Fury's remaining option is the Super Soldier Serum, and he asks Bruce Banner to prepare the serum for 12 subjects. Meanwhile, Black Widow tries to encourage Steve that it wasn't his fault, but he is unconvinced, while Ant-Man is unwilling to return to the team according to Janet's advice. Elsewhere, Iron Man is drowning his disappointment with a bottle of beer, watching the city from his tower. Nick Fury later goes to check on Bruce Banner's progress with the serum, but he is missing, and when Dr. Betty checks his equipment, they find he has been running tests on his own blood. Bruce then appears and explains that he can use the serum to finally control the Hulk, and they will have him as a weapon. When Fury leaves after receiving reports of the incoming Chitauri ships, Bruce tests himself and successfully controls the Hulk. Later, the S.H.I.E.L.D. attempt to stop the invading Chitauri alien ships, but their large transport aircraft is destroyed and it lands on the sea. The aliens then head to attack S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, fighting through the guards with their out-of-this-world weapons. Black Widow hands Nick Fury a gun with vibranium-tipped bullets, and at later, the Hulk takes Dr. Betty Rose to safety so that he can join the party. Later, Captain Fancy Suit shows up, and his hand is his shield by Black Widow, and he joins the fight. As the Hulk is smashing things around, they are joined by Giant Man, the Wasp, Iron Man, and the Norwegian blonde model with a hammer, Thor, who also wants a piece of the cake. The team wins the fight, and everyone is calm and celebrating except the Hulk, who is still angrily smashing stuff, and he now turns to the Avengers, knocking away Fancy Suit and hitting Iron Man. The Hulk also knocks down Giant Man and injures the Wasp. Thor then comes out to fight him with his hammer and is about to defeat him, but the Hulk overpowers him and picks up his hammer and knocks him out with it again. The Avengers finally realize that the uncontrollable Hulk is too strong for them, and Betty then fetches some of Bruce's medicine, and Black Widow injects him with a dose of the sedative. Betty then tries to calm the Hulk down so he does not burn through the sedative, and the Hulk finally rests easy and reverts to a normal human. Later, Bruce Banner is kept in a glass cell, while Captain America, recovering at the hospital, gets a surprise visit from his ex-wife, who wishes him a happy life. The team later celebrates Captain America, who led them to their final victory as a team against the aliens. Finally, Nick Fury is also proud of his new team, the Avengers, who are now trending on Twitter, and the thrilling film comes to an end. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.